JW Crisis, the Jehovah's Witness elder you wish you had when you were going to the Kingdom Hall. Hello everybody, this is Gilbert Gonzalez with Jehovah's Witness Elder You Wish You Had when you were going to the Kingdom Hall. And I'm making this video because I want to bring out two points. From the abundance of the heart speaks the mouth. And so in this video, of the bunker video, Watchtower is telling you what is in their heart and what they have in store for the near future. So I'm asking, pay attention to this clip and pay attention to how you listen. How's it out there? Not good. It won't be long. Maybe an hour. Is, is Kevin with you? He said he's not coming. That he doesn't want to have anything to do with us anymore. How sad. Now, this far into the Great Tribulation. I just don't get it. Kevin knows we're in the Great Tribulation. Why would he say he doesn't want anything to do with us anymore? Darren, I thought you had heard by now. Heard what? When our message changed from good news to judgment. When our message changed from good news to judgment. When our message changed from good news to judgment. He was telling everyone that it would make problems for us. And that he was done. I can't believe it. Did you see how here he says, didn't you hear when we changed the message of the good news to that of judgment? So evidently Watchtower already has that message somewhere written down and uh, they plan to use it one day. So we kind of know what's uh, their modus operandi in the future. The other thing I wanted to talk about is called the illusions of grandeur. You know, for years and years I would visit the prisons and help out, supposedly help out, Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but helped out prisoners, uh, especially those who were raised by Jehovah's Witnesses and uh, they would come to the meetings. But it wasn't until I went on the other side and I went to jail that I found Jesus. The next morning when I was speaking to Jesus, there was a 6.0 earthquake and I thought, really, Jesus? Of all the towns and all the gin joints, of all. But I learned one thing there. I learned to get rid of the illusion of grandeur. I learned that I did not get the job. That the job of the ruler of the world, the judge of all humankind, well, Jesus got that job and I did it. And um, I was okay with it. I, I also learned that God loves everybody. The people who were outside of the prison, like I used to be, and the people who were inside the jail like I used to be. So, you know, God loves everybody. And it was just a, but it was, I, I, I learned so much. And um, I lost my illusions of grandeur. And this is the point I want to bring out. That on the illusions of grandeur, if you look at this video clip, they actually believe that the police are coming to them. Check it out. They're just north of town, searching every house. Every house? Yeah, the neighborhood's in a panic. Let's stay calm and lean on Jehovah. At some point, we can expect a final attack on God's people. At some point, we can expect a final attack on God's people. You see, Jehovah's Witnesses, in this video, you would, you would think that the government is out there looking for God's people. They're looking for you. And that's the sign of the Great Tribulation. Do you see anything? Do you see any witnesses? Where are they? Do you see anything? Do you see any witnesses? Where are they? Well, the, the, the real truth is that in a land of th eight, nine billion people, in a land of 350 million 
Americans, the government is very busy trying to track down ISIS members, not Jehovah's Witnesses. They're trying to track down people who have uh, atomic bombs. Uh, they're trying to attack people and find people who uh, have chemical weapons or biological weapons. Yeah, you see, they're trying to attack those people. Uh, the, the sad truth is that they don't give a rat's ass about you. I'm sorry. They don't, they're happy when you leave their door on Saturday morning and they didn't open up and, and no one's knocking. They don't care about you. You know, the, the one million Jehovah's Witnesses in a land of 350 million people, you know, they don't care about you. You're not God's chosen people. And the government isn't looking for you, and nor, and nor will they be looking for you in the future. Check the basement. Check that thing. But I know that you have this disease. It's called the illusions of grandeur. You actually believe that you're something, but you're really nothing. And when you realize that, when you have that Armageddon, when you get, when you hear the slammer, when you've been, when you've been accused falsely and everything, you start realizing like, man, I am nothing but a number to these people. You know, and, and you're nothing. And, and this video goes to prove that Watchtower, one, you got something more nefarious up your sleeve, but also that you guys have illusions of grandeur. And in order to enjoy life and to be happy, you have to get rid of it because you're going to die just like everybody else. And your gray hairs are showing and they're growing. And, not, and I, I feel bad because now I'm at 70-30 with salt and pepper, 70% salt now. You know, and then and, and the hair is thinning out and nobody gives a rat's ass, you know, other than Rogaine and a couple of other hair for men. But, uh, you know, or yeah, hair clubs for men and uh, uh, those uh, dye coloring companies. But other than that, nobody really gives a shit. And so you 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 actually believe that you're important. The best thing my mom would tell me when I was a young teenager, I would go home and I would say, Mom, did, did anybody call me? And my mom says, no, son, you're not that important. And think about, to this day, those words still are in my mind. My mom is speaking to me from the grave, even to this day. And she re she's reminding me to take care of the more important things. And the more important things are your friends, your family, your children, and, and your, your, your future and your posterity, you know, and, uh, and the elderly and the indigent. Yeah, th those are the most important things. Um... So those are my two cents. And there's so many things that you can learn from this video. And those are just two different viewpoints that I wanted to bring out. And I'm sure so many other people are bringing out more. And so again, this is Gilbert Gonzalez, JW Crisis, the Jehovah's Witness Elder you wish you had with this uh, update. On the, uh... Making our religion safe again through the Trinity of Change. Start your own chapter of Kingdom Hall of Happy Apostates with new chapters starting as low as $19.14 a month.